There's a statue in Pine Bluff, Arkansas today that honors one of its own. She was, during her lifetime, very outspoken. Her critics said she was crazy. They said she was unstable, and they tried portraying her as an alcoholic who couldn't be trusted, let alone believed. If you take a look on the statue, there's a plaque. And on that plaque, it has John 8:32, which says, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. This syndicated columnist, come to find out, he was at the top of Richard Nixon's enemies list. And there was also a plot to have him killed through poisoning using LSD. These are just some of the bizarre things I learned recently by listening to some podcasts on Watergate. On June 17th of 2022, we were celebrating the 50th anniversary of the break-in of the Democratic headquarters in Washington, D.C., which then unraveled the Watergate scandal. If you want to learn more about Watergate, I have three great podcasts I highly recommend that you listen to and that you actually could binge on. Uh, they're all different in their approaches. They have a different focus, but you'll learn something about Watergate. My recommendations for three podcasts you can binge on and learn everything you need to know about Watergate in this edition of Prez Politics. My top three podcast recommendations on Watergate. Are you ready? Drum roll, please. Number three, The Mysteries of Watergate. Now, this is based on John O'Connor's book entitled Postgate, and he's also the narrator of this podcast. He was a lawyer to Mark Felt, and Mark Felt was Deep Throat, uh, which happened to be Bob Woodward's secret informant during his coverage of Watergate. But O'Connor wrote a piece in 2005 in Vanity Fair, which essentially outed or let the world know that Mark Felt was indeed Deep Throat. Uh, Woodward's secret informant during this entire time. But the thesis of his book and this podcast is that he simply believes that the Washington Post, Woodward and Bernstein, both committed journalistic malpractice by omitting certain essential facts in their coverage of Watergate. And O'Connor really believes that today's partisan advocacy journalism started with the Washington Post's coverage of Watergate. And in this podcast, he goes through and brings up uh, questions that he believes th that were overlooked or facts that were simply overlooked. Talked about syndicated columnist Jack Anderson, who come to find out he was on Richard Nixon's enemies list, and also come to find out that there had been a plot that later was abandoned to have him poisoned. And there's, a, there's an episode on that, and you can learn something about Jack Anderson. Uh, there's an episode on the sixth burglar. I don't I didn't know there was a six burger. It's something that doesn't oftentimes get talked about. But this podcast is very academic. You'll find it very, very detailed. In fact, it's 34 episodes. So you have to be ready for this uh, because it is so detailed and academic, about 14 hours worth of material to listen to. Uh, and each of them run about 25 minutes in length. So if you want a detailed podcast that gives you a broad overview and answers a bunch of questions, this is the podcast for you. Mysteries of Watergate my number three recommendation. My number two recommendation is American Scandal, which is produced by Wondery, which is one of the premier networks uh, in podcasting. It offers a good focus on history and politics. The host is Lindsey Graham, who has a very rich baritone voice. He's very easy to listen to. In fact, I think Graham is one of the best in the business today. He's one of the early pioneers of audio drama that is in podcasting today. And it's very, very entertaining. It's dramatized. There's background music, there's sound effects, and you have Lindsey Graham sort of pushing the podcast story along as the storyteller, as the narrator. American Scandal uh, only has six episodes, so it's very easy to binge on this. The average length is 44 minutes long, and a lot of the reenactments, uh, there's a lot of reenactments of conversations uh, throughout uh, the episodes. And he tells us that there are um, historians that are selected to write these scripts, historians with 
uh, doctorates, and they 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 go to these uh, historians in these areas of expertise to really create a historical, accurate script um, for each of the things they focus on. Uh, if you're looking for a lengthy academic scholarship, this is not the podcast for you. This podcast gives you a short summary of Watergate. It doesn't cover every angle, doesn't cover every individual, every event involved in, in, in Watergate. But if you want a good short summary that's entertaining and very easy to listen to, American Scandal, hosted by Lindsey Graham, is a great recommendation I have for you. It's my number two recommendation on podcast for Watergate. My number one podcast recommendation on Watergate comes from Slow Burn. Slow Burn has an episode, a season focused exclusively on Watergate. Now this is produced by the online magazine Slate. The host is a man by the name of Leon Nafalk, and he is a former staff member and writer there at Slate Magazine, but he is the moderator, and there's a lot of historical audio clips that are that are blended in to the storylines there. There's only six episodes, so it's easy to binge on uh, this podcast. It's very well researched. If you take a look at the show notes, uh, you can see in great detail all the things, all the resources they use. There's links to articles, to things you can watch on the, the subject of that particular episode. Uh, you can also pull up the show's transcripts and see in great detail, which I think is great. Uh, Slate Plus members, people that sign up for their Slate Plus membership can get some extra episodes. This podcast was so popular that they produced a documentary um, from it based upon the information from the podcast. It streams on Amazon. You know, the one thing that I learned uh, in this podcast was an unknown figure, a central figure, and her name was Martha Mitchell. And she was the wife of John Mitchell, who happened to be President Nixon's campaign manager at the time, but she is a, a socialite from Arkansas. She was from Pine Bluff, Arkansas, and she is what some people consider to be one of the earliest whistleblowers of Watergate. She suspected there were some uh, unlawful activities that were going on. She eavesdropped on her husband. She was starting to put two and two together, and uh, some of Richard Nixon's aides uh, made several attempts to silence her and keep her quiet. The online streaming service Stars has just recently produced a show called Gaslit, and it is based on Slow Burn's podcast of Watergate. And the show has uh, focused. The show focuses uh, their season around Martha Mitchell, uh, who is played by Julia Roberts, and Sean Penn plays her husband, John Mitchell, and the show is getting lots of review and sort of a lot, lots of focus on Watergate, and people are learning a lot about Watergate. Slow Burn, and their season on Watergate, is my number one podcast recommendation. I hope you take some time to sit and listen to some of these, and you'll learn a lot about Watergate. You'll learn some things I'm sure you didn't know about Watergate. Hey, help us get word out about Press Politics. If you haven't already, share our videos with your friends and family. And if you haven't joined our Press Politics family yet, hit our subscribe button.